she and her daughter are out doing their documentary. It's called Gutsy. And they're talking about how gutsy they are and gutsy other women are. How about the first lady of Ukraine? She's on a feminist tour. That's real original. And you know who still back us? The ladies. We can go sell a lot of books. We can make a lot of money doing a lot of appearances. We're going to need a lot of pantsuits. Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back. I am Van, and we are all the LFR family. We are friends now. All right, so since you clicked on the video, you cannot leave. Because I get a log of everybody that clicked to see. You just now try to leave. I saw you. Now, stop trying to leave. You click on, stay on, all right? And hit the like button while you're here. Shout out to everyone who has been purchasing hats and shirts. This is not our shirt. This is Carly on Noir's shirt. Shout out to Sarah Honnold, one of my big supporters who got me this right here. Thank you so much to you and your family. I really appreciate it. Um, but everything has been selling, guys. We got hoodies now. Just go to the website, hatsforsale.com, and check the stuff out. You don't have to purchase anything. Just look at what we're doing. Any feedback is appreciated, okay? But if you do decide to buy something, put in LFR10 as the code, you get 10% off, free shipping all across America. Kellyanne Conway is the former counselor to the president and author of Here's the Deal. So the Clintons are back, baby. Just grab your wallet. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, boy. You know, Bill Clinton was such an interesting person. People really wanted to hear him, listen to him. He was the comeback kid who came in third in New Hampshire and somehow said, I'm the comeback kid. Just watch me. Got the nomination. And Jesse, here's a guy who really ran successfully under the Democratic Leadership Council. What is that? Well, it disbanded in 2011. It's been gone a long time. I'm going to tell you one thing. Bill Clinton had the best um president voice when people made fun of his voice i guess it was because him trying to explain all of his current knowns with that lady i ain't gonna say her name i think her first name was monica last name lewinsky i'm not gonna say her name but when he was having those situations and he was trying to explain them for the longest and then everybody started making fun of him on snl and every daggone thing man and all you heard was people was getting his voice like very good i'm not good with impersonation so i'm not gonna try but yeah i like that Here's why. It represented the more centrist, moderate part of the Democratic Party. Bill Clinton, who called those criminals super predators, was for the crime bill. Bill Clinton, who signed into law welfare reform, who was against gay marriage, who said abortion should be safe, legal, and rare while Ooh. he's president. And that Ooh. part of the Democratic Party is no more. Why is this relevant? Well, it's relevant because if I were Bill Clinton, the statesman, I'd be trying to get my party that's so out of whack, out of sync, out of touch with everyday America, I'd be trying to get them to the center and instead, he sort of reduced to sound bites and platitudes. I think the back-to-back -back Bill Clinton, Joe Biden interviews this weekend were puff and fluff. And we didn't get a lot of stuff <laughs> out of either of them. And I think it's... Look at you with the bars. Puff and fluff. And we didn't get a lot of stuff. What? Get out of here with the bars. I see you, Kellyanne Conway. Kellyanne Conway. You know, uh, we used to watch the all of the debates and stuff and Kellyanne Conway used to come on to CNN and she used to give them the business like she used to be sharp super sharp now she's a she's a conservative right and she is she a conservative I think she's a, is she a conservative but her husband is um is liberal is this the one okay I might be wrong okay never mind never mind now strike that from the record. It's particularly regrettable for Bill Clinton, who's a two-term president who people look toward as somebody who was helping with hurricane relief in Haiti or bringing hostages home, um, helping with AIDS relief and HIV cures. And, um, you know, he wakes up every morning and he's at least the most popular person in a two-person household. You know who's the second <laughs> most popular person there. Uh, but that aside, um, you know, Hillary Clinton is the one that's always gotten my goat because here's somebody who's known for her husband. Oh, Kellyanne, she's successful in her own right. Folks, you wouldn't know who she was unless through him. That's first of all. But do you know what she's doing right now? You know, Jesse, she and her daughter are out doing their documentary. It's called Gutsy. And they're talking about how gutsy they are and gutsy other women are. How about the first lady of Ukraine? She's on a feminist tour. That's real original. And you know who still back us? The ladies, we can go sell a lot of books. We can make a lot of money doing a lot of appearances. We're going to need a lot of pantsuits. Oh, we're going to need extra pantsuits with cheese. How much fabric they got? Can they make them in all fabrics? All colors? Hmm? All nationalities? I need pantsuits. 
Matter of fact, she's going to have to fill up a plane with nothing but pantsuits for this tour. Because I doubt she wants to, you know, wear the same pantsuit. How tacky is that? She won't be caught dead with the same pantsuit. Like this top that she got on right here. I'm sure she has pant legs that match the pant uppers. All right. Hey, what's up, guys? Now, I am super excited because we have been blessed to be sponsored by an amazing company that focuses on preparation for everything. I will put my name and my brand on Blue Monster Prep, especially on Gina and Patrick, making sure that you and your family are completely prepped when it comes to first aid, emergency food, emergency water, hazmat suits, PPE. You can get from bluemonsterprep.com. Make sure that you put in the code LFR so you can get free shipping anywhere in America and you and your family will be taken care of. So sometimes she probably switched that up. What if she, that's probably what she did. She probably bought like six pantsuits, all right? So with that pink and gray that she got on right there, she can get some solid, you know, gray pants with that pantsuit, some solid pink pants with that pantsuit. That means all she got to do is buy a pink suit and a gray suit and a pink and gray suit, all right? She can wear all of that. Oh, then she got white. I see some white in it. She's because she can wear some white pants. So that means she got a white suit. So she can wear those pants that match that jacket with a white suit jacket, huh? Or a pink suit jacket or great. And there's so many ways to wear them pants suits. So if she was to buy, maybe, let's say if she put together probably like seven good pants suits, right? She can go on a whole lot of tours with them seven good pantsuits. Seven good pantsuits can probably be mixed and matched to probably like 28 suits. All right? Seven times four, right? It's right. I said that a lot. Seven times four. Yeah. So she can be able to get probably like 28 suits. Easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Crane, how about some of these single moms working two and three jobs? The Washington Post said they're the fastest growing new group of homeless in our country, single moms with a job. How about some really gutsy people out there? Yeah. And so, I mean, that's a good point. That brings me want, to say something, if, Kellyanne. Like, you know, why, why aren't they out yeah. talking the to the migrant suit. family? That's like an Asian pantsuit. You know what I mean? That's, that's that style of pantsuit right there. She really showing off the pantsuits, guys. Listen to me. You would never see as many pantsuits. I wonder which chapter in what happened by Hillary Rodham Clinton is about pantsuits. Listen, if I was her and I was a trademark or patent anything, it would definitely be pantsuits. Hashtag pantsuits. If I ever talk anywhere, I don't care where it is that I talk. As a matter of fact, that might even be my signature. And if she's smart, since she's going to have to sign so many books, she will either have like a like one of them little stamps that already got her signature already encoded in it. So she can just uh, pantsuit, hashtag pantsuit on all of the books. I think that would be amazing, man. She has a lot of pantsuits and she's going to need a great deal of them in order to go and co to complete this amazing tour and sell the books that she wants to sell. Families who are suffering. Why aren't there out there with moms that who can't find baby formula? Or, or can't afford groceries. Yeah. Where are they on those issues? There's like massive homelessness. There's there's women getting shoved in the subway tracks. They're gonna never pants suits. And women are getting seek out. Women are getting subbed in the sub. I mean, oh yeah, in New York, in New York, y'all saw that? Yeah, I saw that one. That's on that video. They was man, they was going crazy in New York, bro. God gracious it's like somebody told me at the end of days was next week you gotta hurry up and do the most demonic things that you probably if you think you're going to hell then do something hellish until next week if you think you're going to heaven then be good god dang it play catch up all right so but that man they did push somebody in a daggone train track in in, in new york i think and if i'm wrong this it won't be the first time and, and then you can't even find the clintons but all of a sudden they show up in new york city with their hands look do you find the timing interesting that after she lost the election the clinton foundation just dries up no one wants to donate anymore but the minute joe biden basically says i might not run anymore oh the Clintons are back and they're and they're asking for money. Don't wow. you see that? Is interesting wow. timing. She got a lot of pantsuits. I think it's appalling timing in this way. I think the time to get She got more pantsuits than her husband. Wow, battle of the pantsuits. That would definitely make you uh, have some marital problems, man. Like, okay, what pantsuit you wearing? What pantsuit you wearing? 
Well, if we were the same size, I'll wear your pantsuit. I'll wear your pantsuit. Wow. She, she probably has more pantsuits than any other ex-first lady. Get the Clinton Global Initiative up and running was after she lost the second time. When she lost to President Trump in 2016, she should have said, listen, I'm going to dust myself off, not be bitter, not calling him an illegitimate president, not live in my own head, and just be bitter and scowling and sucking on lemons for six years since. She should have said, let's do the Clinton Global Initiative together, Bill, and I'm going to have the, Senate, the Hillary Clinton Center for Women and Girls. I'm going to help women around the globe. I'm going to help with education, with disease, with homelessness here. All of that, the opioid crisis, I never heard from her when we nope. were doing that successfully in the Trump White House. And this is, you know, everybody would joke, oh, there's a Bill Clinton Center for Women and Girls. Put that aside. There should be a Hillary Clinton Center for Women and Girls. She has never done anything for anyone else of that measure, taken the magnitude of her reach. And, you know, two failed wow. presidential campaigns doesn't count. What you do is you say, look, that wasn't my time. God had a different plan for me. I'm going to take the $250 million they're yeah. worth or so and put it to good use for others. She hasn't said a word, I'm sure, a, a word to help the migrants. I'm sure she's just there criticizing others. So I think yeah. it's sad. They they were very big on the world stage for a long time, and I hope they can do well by doing good, but I just don't see it. I love the way um, Kellyanne broke it down. And it doesn't sound like she was trying to be mean or anything. As a matter of fact, what you just now said um, hit my heart a bit, all right? So. I received it. I think God used Kellyanne Conway to say that about Hillary Clinton in order for me to get something from that as well. Sometimes, man, we we got to understand that if somebody's giving someone's a message, if someone's giving someone else a message and we were to hear it, it might be something in that for us. Like sometimes we're, we're spoken to in many different ways. Oh, man, now Van think God is talking to him through Kelly A. Conway. This nigga crazy. This nigga crazy. I'm not crazy. I promise you I'm not. I can't promise you I'm not. I've never been tested to see if I was crazy. So I don't know if I'm crazy. I don't even know what crazy is. As a matter of fact, I went to a psychologist one time. I'm not a psychiatrist one time. And I met with them through my insurance. And I told them that I wanted to see somebody because I I just wanted to see somebody. All right. I just I never seen a psychologist or psychiatrist or whatever they are and um, for myself. And I was like, man, I want to see one. And they said, uh, why do you feel you need to see one? And I started telling them um, why I felt like I needed to see one. Well, 10 minutes go by and the psychiatrist is in a day going um, hospital room um, just laughing like hell. And saying, let me see your Facebook. Looking at my Facebook, laughing at my Facebook post. And um, and next thing you know, she says, you don't need to see anybody. You're good. What the hell does that mean? All right? Like, seriously, what does that mean? You're good. A doctor isn't supposed to say, you don't need to see anyone. You're good. I, I, at least that's what I believe. I don't believe so. I mean, look at me. Clearly, I'm not good. I ask these people, I'm, do I look good? I'm not good. I need to see someone. But back to my original point, there's no way for me to know that I'm actually crazy or not. Yeah, I'd like for them to do a little bit more for this country. The global initiative is fine, but maybe focus on America just for once. That could be better. Kellyanne, thank you the so much. The boy from hope, Bill Clinton. That's right. Thank you. All right. Yeah, they're right. Um, the Clintons are popping up. Um, are they being opportunists? Are they are they seeing that uh you know there's a probability that they can come back in another way? I mean the woman king, think about it. The woman king. Hmm. Might be sending a message. The woman king, the woman president. Hmm. The new movie. I just now did a reaction to that. That's the only reason why I'm talking about it. All right. So, y'all let me know whatever y'all want me to know in the comments below. And if you have yet to hit that subscribe button, please make sure you do so on your way out the door. Once again, guys, I am Van. And now we are all the LFR family. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video, hopefully inside the Patreon as well. Y'all have been amazing per usual, man. Love y'all. Bye.